Hello and welcome. My name is Mr. Cannell, and in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to transform a single image into a Hockney Joiner style edit. Now, there is no substitute for doing a joiner the way in which Hockney pioneered. However, the number of shots required to create an intricate imitation can be quite daunting. With the method I'm about to show you, we can give the impression that we have combined multiple images rather than just using one. You may wish to use this method if you're having difficulty getting a large number of shots or building enough variety in your edits for a study on Hockney in the time you have. Working digitally in this way will also be cheaper and save on paper and printing. So let's get started. The first item you'll need is an image to work with. I recommend picking a landscape with various elements of interest at all levels of depth. For instance, this image of the Cape Town uh, dockyard has uh, an empty dry dock as our foreground element, these cranes and cityscape as our mid ground, and in the background we've got the hills and the sky. Perfect for what we're intending to do. The first thing that we're going to do is go down to our layer panel, make sure that our layer is unlocked, just like this one, and then make sure it's selected. Then I'm going to go down to the layer mask and rather than give it a white layer mask, I'm going to hold down the Alt key and click my layer mask now. Doing so is going to hide everything. Now that's absolutely fine for what we're looking to do because we are going to bring it back using a marquee selection tool and the uh, copy or duplicate layer function. I'm going to then select the image thumbnail rather than the layer mask thumbnail. So select over like so. And then I'm going to use my marquee selection tool, which is M on the keyboard, or you can click the, uh, click and select the rectangular marquee tool. And then I'm just going to pick an area to draw out a nice rectangle. With my area selected, I'm then going to hold the Control and J keys together, and this will duplicate the selected area from my previous layer. Now I could go back into my uh, layer panel and select the bottom layer, but I'm going to show you how you can select it quite quickly using a shortcut. Holding the Alt and comma arrow, uh, comma um, buttons on your keyboard, you can switch your layer quite quickly to the bottom layer, and then just draw out another selection and press Control J again. And it's just a case of getting into a habit of switching between the two. Alt and comma together and draw out my selection with the marquee tool still selected. Control J to duplicate. And you can go through like so and quickly and efficiently select all these different squares. Now we're bringing back that image but we will be doing other things to it as well just to make the um, gaps between the image that much easier to read. So bear with me while I do a few of these. Pressing uh, Alt and the comma just to go back to my bottom layer over here then selecting another area Control J to duplicate. And switching between those key uh, functions makes it really quick and really easy to get all of this done relatively fast. And there we go. Let's work with that. Now, with all these new layers, we can go to the top one so we can see what we're doing, select it, then double click to bring up the layer style uh, dialog box. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to add a drop shadow. This will create a multiply edge to each of these images as we go along. Um, it will do it to the first layer first, but then we'll share it amongst the other layers. So I'm going to click the little button and drop shadow. You can see down here, we've just added this slight edge to that section, that layer. And if I click inside the drop shadow, we have a lot more control. You can increase the size and spread of your shadow and the distance it travels. You want to keep the distance relatively low. We don't want a huge thick line. Just looking to suggest some separation. The spread will help um, smooth out the blend. And you can change the opacity as well. So you can just leave it as a faint line or you can make it quite strong. 
depending upon your preference. I like to keep it um, below 50%. So I'm going to stick it around the 39 mark. This blend mode is multiplying, and what that's doing is it's just um, adding an extra level of darkness to the layer uh, around the edge. Press OK. And now you'll see there's a faint line around that section on that layer. I'm going to go down to my layer panel and you'll notice that there's a little FX um, displayed. And this is to denote that there is a layer style. If I click that, right click and go to copy layer style, I can then select all the layers below it by selecting the first one scrolling all the way to the bottom, holding down the shift key and clicking on the bottom layer. And just like that, I have all my layers below the one with the effects selected, right click, and then I can go in and paste layer style. Doing so has now given us all of these different um, layers, uh, that edge that we first uh, added to the top layer. Now, if you press the V key or the move tool icon at the top of the toolbar, you can go in and you can start playing around with all these different areas. Just make sure you deselect and you can start moving and pulling them around to your, uh, to your liking. And this is just to give it that rough joiner kind of look to it to suggest that they've been positioned ever so slightly off center. And just like that, you've created your own version of a Hockney joiner. Now, whilst I do recommend a landscape shot, just so you end up with all those different levels of depth, you can use wildlife shots, um, friends and family portraits, and you can still create that effect. Um, personally, I, I think the landscape works better, but may well be that you want a bit of variety and to showcase um, a range of different edits and just to spice things up, you throw in a few portraits and um, wildlife shots as well. Anyway, thank you very much uh, for joining me. Hope your edit went well. Take care.